On the evening of May 8th, parts of a spent Chinese Long March 5B rocket booster fell into the Indian Ocean. Now, this rocket had just carried a module for China's first space station into low Earth orbit, and what was supposed to be, I think, a really good news week for China turned into a little bit of a tricky one once the international community became concerned about where this would come down. Now, China isn't the only country to have conducted this kind of uncontrolled reentry, but this Long March 5B reentry is certainly unusual simply given the physical size of the 22 ton rocket booster that was involved. That, in particular, has raised concerns about Chinese space practices. Um, ultimately, in the end, no humans were harmed, but over the course of the uncontrolled reentry, there was significant concern that this rocket could potentially come down over populated land, even though, strictly speaking, the probability of that happening was quite low. The incident involving the Long March 5B, I think, underscores the dearth of binding rules governing responsible space practices that can foster sustainability, frankly, over the long term for Earth orbits. These orbits support so much of our modern life here on Earth that it's frankly uh, not surprising that so many states and commercial firms are now launching satellites. We have thousands already in orbit, with thousands more planned in just the next few years. As news coverage leading up to the eventual splashdown of the Chinese rocket underscored, there's lots of uncertainty about where space objects are at any given time. Because space is large and speeds are so high when these things are moving around, the scope for measurement error in particular is quite high. So it's very difficult to know exactly where this would come down until the moments right before splashdown. The danger of this debris is that because these debris objects cannot be easily removed and they cannot be controlled or moved out of the way, they might collide with active satellites and present a danger to the peaceful uses of space for, for human economic betterment. Uh, and this also affects nation states that operate satellites for military uses. As these collisions occur, they create more pieces of debris that in turn increase the probability of further collisions yet, resulting in what's known as a collision cascade, which happens over a long period of time but overall decreases the sustainability of space. Without a spread in best practices to manage space debris and to finally reduce and remediate debris over the long term, it is simply not assured that future generations will have access to space uh, for economic use and military use and other uses in the same way that we do today. So outer space is not entirely without international law. The Outer Space Treaty of 1967 is the basic international legal framework. This treaty was agreed at the height of the Cold War space race with both the United States and the Soviet Union as parties. The OST notably banned the emplacement of nuclear weapons in space and called on all of its parties to limit their use of the moon and other celestial bodies for peaceful purposes only. It did not ban military activities in space, and the OST remains subject to differing inter interpretations among its signatories. As with so many areas of human technical enterprise in the latter half of the 20th century and the first 20 years of the 21st century, Regulation, uh, specifically international regulation, has lagged actual practices. So even though the current space landscape is no longer exclusive to just resource-rich nation-states, there's little regulatory focus on keeping space sustainable by constraining the types of behavior states and commercial actors alike undertake. Recent efforts to add to the body of space law at the international level have become bogged down in geopolitics, and there's really been no progress. But as the Long March 5B's uncontrolled reentry demonstrates, even major states have a long way to go in adopting best practices that will keep the human use of space, particularly near-Earth orbits, sustainable, safe, and predictable for the long term.